JCPS parents are pushing the school board now to immediately remove a book from school libraries. The book is called Gender Queer. It's a memoir of the author's journey of self-identity, especially with the sexuality and gender, claiming it's pornographic. Connor Steffen takes a closer look at the controversy. Explicit pornography. Graphic illustrations. Full nudity. Or a tool for self-discovery. The right of every individual to both seek and receive information from all points of view. Two drastically different yet equally impassioned views on this book titled Gender Queer at the center of discussions during a JCPS decision-making board meeting Thursday. I am here to defend access. To go and let this filthy pornography go on in our schools? But the well, that's why we are here. Supporters on both sides passionately debating whether to remove the book from JCPS library shelves. The matter brought to the board's attention after parent Miranda Stovall asked two schools to get rid of the book, then appealing to Superintendent Marty Polio. Both requests were ultimately rejected. A majority of grievances with the 240-page memoir are contained to a handful of pages that describe in depict various sexual activities. And looking through the, the entirety of the book, it's clear it fits under the definition of obscene matters or material. There are certainly instances where material would have some bona fide educational use. Though Stovall's attorney argues not in JCPS libraries, a stance the district's chief librarian, Dr. Lynn Reynolds, disagrees with. A book has literary value when readers gain something of value from it, such as deeper knowledge or new ideas. In addition, the book impacts the reader and society as a whole. In her remarks, Reynolds, citing the high suicide rate within the LGBTQ plus community, said for students struggling with sexuality or identity, the book's impact could be immeasurable. LGBT experiences from literature creates a sense of otherness for queer and trans people especially queer and trans youth. She added that a dangerous president could be set with the banning of this one book, one that could lead to countless other pieces of useful literature being taken from students. The board will make its decision sometime within the next 60 days. In Louisville, Connor Steffen, WHAS 11, on your side.